Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. It's a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Friends, welcome back to God's Playbook and happy Monday to you all. Today's the feast of one of my favorite saints of the church, St. Mary Magdalene. St. Mary Magdalene was a very troubled woman until she met Jesus. Her encounter with Jesus was life-changing, was transforming for her not just spiritually, but personally, socially, emotionally, psychologically. It was a game-changing moment. Just like winning a championship puts a franchise like the Florida Panthers on the map. Jealousy, jealousy, jealousy from the president of Leafs Nation. That's me for sure. The reality is Mary Magdalene's whole world was changed. The scriptures tell us that she struggled with many demons. And this isn't just meaning that she was possessed by the devil. What that means is she had a lot of problems in her life. And Jesus is the one who can bring the solution to those problems, can bring health to those who are sick, both physically and spiritually. Mary Magdalene represents all of us. She is somebody who her society cast off, her family and friends pushed aside because she's just a hot mess to use a 2024 example of a term used for people that are disasters, that their lives are all over the map. Jesus takes the time to pay attention to Mary Magdalene and to give her a second chance at life. For Mary Magdalene, she's invited to this encounter with Jesus and then her life is forever changed. She opened her heart to God. She made a conscious decision to move away from sinning and to be focused on God's expectations of her. She's an instrument of evangelization. She's the one whom Jesus decided to appear to first after his resurrection. She was rewarded for her faithfulness by receiving certain privileges, like I just mentioned, to assist her as she continued her life here on earth. Mary Magdalene stands as an example for all of us, that we don't need to be perfect to be saints, but as we encounter the Lord, we too need to be transformed like Mary Magdalene was. For each of us, she represents a very positive role model. Someone who had to, yes, learn the hard way, and yet finally opened herself up to allow God to be that difference in her life, that game changer, as I mentioned earlier. Mary Magdalene doesn't stop. She proclaims the Lord. She speaks about her own faith life. And so she becomes the poster child and the example of what a true evangelist should be like. Mary Magdalene represents for us, friends, such a great role model in regards to faith, how we should live our lives, how we are to deepen our prayer life, to make sure that we're paying attention to the movement of God around us. And so on this great feast day of this holy woman who was forever changed because she met Jesus and opened herself up to his teaching, may she intercede for us to do the same so that we can leave our sinful past behind, choose to move forward with God and recognize his daily blessings of mercy and love in our daily lives. St. Mary Magdalene, pray for us. 
For God's Playbook friends, I'm Father Rico. God loves you, and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Budsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks, and God bless.